Uh, okay. Uh, so this is my schedule speech. I still want to slightly introduce myself. <clears throat> my name is Harvey, and my hobby is watching TV on the couch, playing video games at the couch, searching the net every time when I was free. And I like to stay in bed with my laptop the whole time during the weekend. And I hate my physical education teacher because he forced me to join the campus marathon. <laughs> and in Taiwan, general people will consider me to be a... <laughs> yeah, you are right. But if you really call me an otaku, I will consider it an insult. Not to me, but to the true ones. <laughs> because I am not qualified enough to be called an otaku. <clears throat> Actually, the true otaku means mania or holic, just like shopholic, bike mania, or whatever. That is, they are keen on something in a specific field and are obsessed with it. What's more, they are excellent and have professional knowledge about the field. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they the most difficult otaku, and measure otaku, for example. They can memorize all the plots of each animation they have seen, and may even remember all the lines about it. Some of them can recognize voice actors of each character, so-called the character voice. They may tell you that the Lumi in Japan is actually share the same voice with Conan. <laughs> <laughs> the master among them knows more. They not only know what is inside an animation, but also know where it comes from. If you see a book, if you see a castle in your animation, you may just think, wow, what a beautiful castle. But they'll tell you, actually, it is derived from Schloss Nürnberg in Germany. <laughs> <coughs> Beside animation otaku, there is trend otaku, who can easily recite every translation from Taipei to Pindong. Also, there is military otaku who can explicitly tell you the function and structure of AK-47. Uh -huh. Without a doubt, they are experts, true experts, true experts. How can you complain me, a layman, to those experts? It's a serious insult to their professional knowledge, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, now we know that the true otaku is totally different from what you used to think. <laughs> then, if you still want to talk fun and me that I always stay at home, what term can you use to call me? Indeed, there are some single names in English. For example, you can call me a nerd. Aww. But if you really call me a nerd, I'll consider it uh, insult to me this time <laughs> because this word may mean idiot, fool, stupid, or new sense in English. Or you may call me a wizard, but I won't know what you mean. And may consider that, oh, maybe you are a fantasy novel otaku. Yes. Otherwise, you may call me a hikikomori. But this word is too professional and too formal. Just imagine that when we coincidentally meet on the street, I don't say hi to you, but say please to meet you. Oh. It's a little weird, right? So, actually, due to a difference in culture, there is no word in English can precisely and perfectly describe this characteristic. So, still, you can call me an otaku. Mm -hmm. Then, I know what you actually mean. But, 
please keep in mind that the true adult group is a group of people that are, that are adept in a particular field. And if I always stay at home, I am not qualified enough to be called an adult group. Just a matter of evening. <laughs>